Now I'm seven. Megan, back to you. Thanks, Vanessa. That little girl, I think we're going to be seeing more of her down the road. Let's check in with Kelly Mack and our Jams Music Minute. Kelly, Kelly DMX. Okay, we're hearing stories now that he, you know, support, reportedly tried to rob someone. Right. People are saying, that's absurd. That wouldn't happen. You know, at this point, I, I, I wouldn't put anything past him. I mean, yeah. how many times have you been arrested for driving without a license, uh -huh. driving under the influence, and now this, you know, and he was in Jersey when this happened? I mean, come on, Nina. Come back to the bird. Come back to yeah. the bird. Yeah. Get clear, and let's, let's get you settled. Yes, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, you got some fun music news I for us. actually. Did you hear about Beyonce? Tell now? me about Beyonce. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so she released this new song, right? Okay. And it's called um, Die With You. Okay. Now, she dedicated this song to Jay-Z in honor of their seven-year wedding anniversary, which was Saturday. Now, to celebrate, Beyonce released the song and a video. And um, what she did was she posted a video that features a snippet of the track and footage of her playing the piano on Instagram. Now, the song is exclusively available to Tidal Music Streaming members only, and Tidal is the music streaming company that Jay-Z and many other artists launched last week, and it includes a $20 monthly fee, which is twice the amount of its direct competitor, Spotify. Taylor Swift is someone who is definitely still a kid at heart. Over the weekend, she posted this video on Instagram of her and her brother Austin in a friendly yet competitive Easter egg hunt that their mom put together for them. Cute, huh? Taylor's mom and dad recorded the whole thing, and when Taylor posted the video, she captioned it, quote, when your parents arrange a competitive sibling Easter egg hunt, failing to take into account that their children are Ross and Monica, end quote. <laughs> Gotta love the friends, right? Yeah. All right, well, 88-year-old legendary blues artist B.B. King was rushed to the hospital over the weekend due to life-threatening complications related to his type 2 diabetes. TMZ reported that he was um, taken to be treated for dehydration and that he remains hospitalized near his home in Las Vegas. And here's a look at this week's top downloads right now. Uptown Funk with Mark Bronson and Bruno Mars is still holding on to the top spot, coming in at number one. The second most downloaded single this week is Ed Sheeran's Thinking Out Loud. And in third, Ellie Golding, Love Me Like You Do, your song, girl. You know, 50 Shades of Grey, I feel like it's coming in so hot. It is, yeah. it is. And you know, one of the songs that we're playing a lot on jams yes. is um, Earned It by the Weeknd. Ooh, that's another yes. big one. Nationwide, number one Shazam song, so that's big, too. I love it. Now, hey, before I go, I have yes. to tell you, yes, girl. Yes, tell me about this. Now, you know, you're not eligible, but everyone else is for free money on the Kelly Mack Show and 107.3 Jams start Monday. Okay. So, what do you do? Um, your countdown of the It's like the free, you got like a yeah, vault. We're counting that? down the days. We have okay. a, a vault, and you get to jam the vault. So we'll give you an opportunity to win your share of thousands of dollars starting Monday. I love it. Yeah, so we do. To your show, and of course, go to your website, 1073. 1073jams.com. You got it. All right. I love it, Kelly. Thank you so much. No problem. Good to see you. And hey, y'all, don't forget that the Pickens Azalea Festival.